What is up, bros? It's me, Josh here, and in this video, I'm going to start a new series. This was kind of requested recently during one of my streams uh, when I kind of went on a small little rant about one uh, map, and I thought it'd be a good kind of series to make up, and it's going to be all about strategies on certain maps. Now, I'm going to start with North. North is one of the main ones I see a lot of problems with, and um, a lot of people, quote-unquote, lemming training to certain places, and, and I thought this would be a really good series to start. Um, to ho hopefully help you guys out with certain maps, help you guys get an advantage against certain teams, and helping you guys get in as good of position as possible. So we are on North. Now you're going to get uh, a, a, double, a couple of certain situations. This is going to be the original one, the original map, daytime. You're also going to get the, um, the winter map that's in. So there's two versions of this map as well as the ones with cyclones and everything like that. So just basing on um, the normal setup uh, and, of course, domination. Now standard battles. Standard battles is kind of going to throw you a whole different um, realm of where you're going to need to be. Um, you're still going to follow, in my opinion, a lot of the same patterns. When it comes to standard battles but on this series i'm going to mainly go over domination because that's going to kind of put a lot more positions of the map into um into uh, more importance of where you have to go um standard battles on north i think you're going to still follow a lot of the spots and kind of fighting over so when you're looking at north you have four uh spawn points or four cat points when uh, you are on north you have a b c and d so uh the main thing i kind of want to get to everybody and i still see so many people go there and it's really 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 going to cause you a lot of problems in the long run if you keep going there is the decap now i cannot emphasize staying away from decap as much as possible uh, especially if you're a battleship the size of um these rocks and the inability to actually shoot through these um let's say if you're a battleship going towards the decap especially from the south side or even the north side, you're going to be out of the fight for about five to six minutes and not be able to do anything. You will be able to get some shots through here. That's only assuming something is going to be there. That's only assuming these things are spotted. And that's only assuming that you have a decent angle and not going to take more damage than you're going to cause. You know, if a plane's going to spot you, let's say if a ship is going to be right here, its plane is going to be over this island and it's going to just surface spot you. That's just what it's going to do, especially if you're in a battleship. Um, now you could shoot down the plane or it could be one of those phantom planes that you never see, but it spots you. You're going to be at a massive disadvantage. And if something knows you're going here, they could easily rotate a destroyer. If you're a battleship around in this corner, you're basically screwed because there's not much area you can go here. So honestly, if you're a battleship, I would never go to decap. You're going to spend too much time outside of the battle, too much ineffective time. You could potentially do an amazing flank at one point. It's just not worth it in the long run. Uh, the start of the games are so important. Taking out that potential cruiser, taking out that potential destroyer. Um, instead of rolling towards decap, uh, the main two spawn points, um, top side for divisions. If you do run divisions, now if you run solo, you're going to kind of be spawned all over the place. Uh, there's a spawn here for divisions around this island. There's a spawn on this side as well. Same with um, division here and a division here. So... Um, I would recommend a destroyer, maybe a cruiser. Destroyer, maybe a cruiser for going to decap, um, and of course going to A and decap. For both of this, be very, very aware of what has radar. Just be very, very aware of anything because there's potentially you could push their um, cap without any contention and then roll away. So always be aware of how many destroyers there are, um, how many radar ships there are when pushing towards any of the outside caps. Um, my opinion you could take away the nine and ten line and just not worry about it fight over the other three maps um cap decap if nothing else is contending it um maybe send a destroyer and a cruiser over there to take it over um if your division is a destroyer and a cruiser you could potentially do that because what you could do is if you're rolling top side or bottom side you could smoke one of the corners your destroyer could smoke your cruiser or if you have a smoke cruiser that'd be amazing and you could potentially focus uh, a really really good flank and hit these guys really really hard the majority of this line of this map is going to be fought between B and C. A cap potentially has a bunch of action, um, but the majority of this map is going to be fought between B. It really A and B. Um, D cap just in my in my experience, not much is going to happen there because it's in my opinion a complete waste of a cap. So coming from the north side, um, there's a few places I like to go. If the, we have a favorable advantage, let's so say we have the better DD in our division, I tend to run in divisions. Um, if we have, let's say, a radar ship and a destroyer or good cruisers with a destroyer or, or a decent, like maybe double radar ships, I always like to push A and then get a good flank. 
if we don't have the DDs, we don't have the contention to say it's it's five on five DDs and we're running a double battleship cruiser, I'm not going to be pushing anywhere near A. I'm going to rock towards B cap. Um, I'm going to get as many shots as I can kind of in this area. This is just coming from north side. I'm going to get as many shots in this area towards stuff that's either heading towards A cap or heading towards B cap or kind of maybe chilling in the middle. Uh, I don't I don't I don't even know if I could count how many cruisers I've killed in this square, this square, this square, and this square. I don't. I, Hundreds, hundreds and hundreds of ships I have killed within these and the start of the maps. Devastating strikes, um, just absolutely destroying broadside cruisers, um, you know, because if you do get a destroyer that pushes up or a plane or something like that, that just outspots them, they're not going to be expecting that first shot and you could potentially put a massive, massive hit. But the majority of the rest of my time, I'm going to be supporting B cap and supporting C cap. So C cap is going to be very, very important. B cap is going to be amazing if you can get a destroyer. Um, back in the day, if you guys remember, you could actually uh, cap decap. I believe the cap went all the way like over here. It was kind of insane. Um, now it's a bit harder to cap. So whenever you are pushing into any of these caps, be aware of what has radar. Be aware of what has lower detection than you. Um, because if you do push in, you have almost... Oh, the uh, you could cap behind this island. That's what it was. Um, you're going to be insane. Uh, extreme lack of cover when pushing in here. So um, when you do push in... Um, be sure to be careful. Uh, this is a really, really good out right here. Uh, you just have to be very, very careful what's in this side as well. So just, of course, in any map, map awareness. Um, but uh, if you can cap B, that's amazing. It's very, very hard to take back. Same as C. C is pretty freaking hard to take back because you only need a few, if only one or two ships to defend C cap. Um, Normal players tend to be very, very scared of any kind of torpedoes. So if they know a destroyer's on C cap, most people won't push into it. It's just a, a massive, massive mental game. And of course, if you hit C cap hard and you don't, and nothing's towards D cap, that's a free easy cap right there. Um, I do tend to go a lot of A cap um, on this map because we tend to run relatively balanced divisions. I like to run like a destroyer, cruiser, battleship, or destroyer, cruiser, cruiser, two destroyers, battleships, something like that. Um, so I like to go to A cap a lot, but I'll kind of show you guys what I do on C cap, especially when you're playing in ranked battles. And that is rolling kind of close. Um, what you're going to be doing is you never know what's really on the other side, and you're hoping that there aren't any planes here. So what you're going to be doing is pushing in uh, what I always like to do if I'm in a, a destroyer, especially a cruiser too, is hanging really, really close to this, this uh, line. And then when you are getting relatively close to it, what you're going to end up wanting to do is if you aren't seeing anything, let's say you pop sonar, you aren't seeing anything, you have a plane up, still nothing, or if you're destroying, there's nothing spotting you, kind of at the last second, I like to pull away. One, you can always dump torps. As close as you can to that point, catching somebody. Keeping that line, keeping that line, keeping that line, because you do still have the out here, so you can pop smoke if needed. Or if you still aren't spotting anything... Go kind of wide. So you still have the out. You still have a smoke, especially if you're a cruiser. Now, if, I wouldn't quite do this if I was a cruiser. Um, it, maybe if you know for sure there's nothing here or there's not much over here. And then go go really, really wide, especially being in like a Russian DD. Um, because that's going to give you enough space from something that does. You still have an out on the turn. You have your smoke. And you can then push in and get the actual cap. Um, you could put shots on over there, and you have a decent amount of cover, and you can get all the spots on this line. It's really, really effective. Um, so, really, focusing on this map is taking the middle middle two caps and then fighting outwards. So, same thing for the bottom side of C. Uh, what you're going to do is just basically going to roll out. If you got to be really careful, though. It's a bit easier um, on uh, coming from the top side. Of pinching that corner, uh, it's a bit more of a surprise from the bottom side because it just kind of abruptly starts. So you don't have quite the end, but still, same thing, kind of holding that or just holding this side right here. That's what a lot of people did in ranked, and then torping into there. Um, that's a really, really effective way of holding down C and capping the C. Uh, B cap, same thing from bottom side. Um, it's a, it's pretty easy to cap. I like to go in this little corner right here, and torp if needed. Get vision on a bunch of ships. You can get a whole bunch of ships. Kind of way over here that are really really effective and you could potentially shoot over the islands uh let's swing over to a cap and i'll kind of show you guys both the north and south side attacking on what i would do on a cap so just a little note this is one of the kind of hidden spots of this map um what it really does is it it allows you to use environment as let's say 
to your benefit. I don't, I don't know the better way of putting it, but um, one thing you can do, especially if you're in a Royal Navy cruiser, um, a Kutuzov, something with relatively high arc, an Atlanta or Flint, what you can do is if you get the right angle, you can actually shoot over this without being spotted, assuming things are spotted over there. Um, so what you can actually do, you know, putting shots in, putting shots over that mountain, of course the Kairos is a pretty low trajectory, so it's not gonna get that good of shots. And you can get shots in certain areas without getting punished because what you can do is you'll be able to shoot over these islands without getting spotted from whatever is over here assuming there's no plane or there's nothing pushed around to the side or pushed all the way around you can actually put damage out without being spotted and they aren't able to blind fire into your general area because it's going to be clipping on the land. So this is a really, really good area. There's some more really, really good areas over there as well. Um, you can do almost the same kind of mirrored spot where you're actually using the environment. Because if you look at it, um, if a guy's shooting over the island, even though he knows he's right, even though I know he's right there, there's no way my stuff is going to be good over there because it's just going to click onto the island even though it's behind it. So um, being able to use uh, the islands as an advantage, this is really, really good for something with high arcs, uh, Royal Navy cruisers. Uh, just being very, very careful though, because you're going to most likely be kind of a uh, um, broadside in the situation, so just don't stay there for too long. And one of the main caps I'm always kind of pushing into because it's one of the main spawns I get is A cap. I do hit A cap a lot. I, I much prefer this over the D cap because you're able to kind of get around this and be effective a lot quicker than having such a massive downtime from this mountain range. So what I like to do when I can is if I'm a big battleship, I will push in very, very close to here. If I'm a cruiser, I can push pretty clo close to here. Um, if I'm a Russian DD, I'll actually go wide and try to burn stuff down. Um, but if I'm a battleship, I'm going to be hugging up right against this area and be using this cover so I don't take crossfire from um, all these guys. Because you're going to be taking crossfire from way over on B cap. Um, assuming I'm right here, you have the ability of taking crossfire from way over here if you aren't careful. And also from this side over that mountain range. So using this island as much as cover, as well as you're going to be able to shoot over the majority of this. And there's not much else the team's going to be able to do. You have this massive... Uh, uh, jet of land here basically keeping you safe from torpedoes so this is a really really good cove of you being safe from kind of everything you have to be very careful of ships pushing up b cap this is a really good spot for battleships especially if you can get smoke and nothing's going too wide and you can kind of shoot over the majority of this area towards almost everything um like i said if i'm a russian dd i'm going to be going wide um out to here and then be aiming in and, and putting a bunch of pressure in if i'm a usn dd or a, a IGN DD, I'm going to be basically on cap pushing it until we get the cap. Once we have the cap, then we can kind of back off and be a bit um, safer. Same thing, uh, cruiser, I'm going to be using as much cover as possible, or I'm going to be kind of chilling out, um, putting some uh, drastic fire over stuff, kind of being that support. Almost the identical thing, bottom side. Now, the bottom side is not going to have as much of cover from the cross um, as this side does. Um, that has a bit of a better angle on that uh, on that little island on the top side. It's a bit more of a point. This is a bit of a rounder edge. Um, so you don't quite get the favorable um, angles as you would top side. You kind of have to push a lot more onto cap than, than you do on that side. But the same thing is literally you're going to be kind of lining up here. Now you, you get a bit more punished going this way than you would the enemy side. Um, a, a lot of the enemy team is going to be in this area. So you have to be very, very careful. There's the bot right there. Um, but same thing though, um, I'm going to be pushing my battleship right up into this area and, and defending. Uh, just be aware though that you are going to be showing broadside to a majority of their team. And same thing, if I'm a Russian DD, I'm going wide, smoking if I can. Um, battleships, I'm putting shots into their entire team as I'm moving in. And then I'm going to be parking my boat right here. What this is going to do is going to protect you from torps from the top side. It's protecting you from all... all uh, um, fire from the top side and you're going to be protected from shots from the side you'll be able to do a ton of damage and then you can actually push let's say if you're a radar ship or you have um cruiser cover or something like that they're going to be over there and then you can kind of push in mainly you're going to be stopping the cap or helping your team cap it out um so just a, the quick uh reload of this map now i love north i think it's good i played this map probably thousands of times i don't even know and my opinion this battle is really one over a b and c they could basically cut decap out of this map and it wouldn't affect my play at all i think decap is a complete waste of a cap um because if you're not a dd or a fast cruiser or something like that you're going to be wasting so much time going there 
maybe if you're a cruiser maybe um if you're a battleship and you're going decap just just be aware that you are really really um being a huge detriment to your team uh because you're going to be out of the game so much so Fighting for ACAP is really, really good. You have to be careful with allowing the enemy team to have ACAP because ACAP gives you an amazing uh, flanking opportunity. So basically, you're going to have, you know, what teams end up doing is they roll out and then they kind of flatten out and push towards a side, whether which side it is. So basically, those teams are going to be kind of broadside and then they're going to be kind of, you know, firing at the side. Same thing. You're going to be going in, curling in, heading towards B. You're going to be curling, heading towards A or C or whatever. So what you're going to potentially do is while those teams are pushing, you can add a massive, massive, massive flank and then basically pinch them. So if you have a division, as I go sailing to the corner, if you have a division that's able to win a cap and then they put a massive pressure on the uh, fleeing fleet right here as they're pushing the scene, you have the majority of your team, you're basically pinching them into this area right here. So that's really, really good. Two-pronged attack. They can't really defend themselves. You have supervision, and you can basically just absolutely wreck this team. So the majority of this game is going to be fought between B and C, using those angles, using that cover, using those secret spots, um, using radars at the opportune times, taking out those destroyers. Destroyers are massive on this map and can really, really affect the team just by capping. And then uh, I'm holding it down, pumping it out, keeping vision up, and then getting flanks on when you can and then just holding it down that's about it guys hope this helps you guys with the north map one of my favorite maps um been playing it a lot been playing it for a long time and i hope you guys enjoy it too let me know in the comments below uh what you guys think about the north map and what you guys recommend if i missed anything and um, let me know what you guys think about this series i'm gonna be doing one on each map hopefully it helps you guys out that's it for me though remember like subscribe and i'll see you guys next time